well, come back for some more area, area, whatever the hell it's called. Um, just gonna take advantage of the current A3 break, so to speak. Uh, hence why I'm actually streaming earlier, as well as for a shorter time. Um, so it was profile two, right. And this character, sure. So a lot of things got announced already, which is nice during the current E3. <coughs> uh, vast variety of different show presentations as well. Which, where the hell was I supposed to go again? Ah, oh, crap. Hang on. Uh, something hedgehogs, desert something, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I guess this is the area? Okay, anyway, so we've had <clears throat> EA's conference, which was an absolute disaster, in my eyes anyway. Um, let's see if I actually remember <coughs> what all the things were. So it was like Battlefield 5. Which, well, lacked a lot in presentation, in my opinion. Um, don't really understand why they didn't show proper gameplay footage of it. Um, so, it will always <coughs> appeal those that like the series anyway. Um, but, what the hell was that? Not sure what I picked up. Let's try that. Oh, that actually hurts me. Well, that's great. I don't understand. Anyway, um, yeah, that was kind of a letdown for me. Uh, what else? Battlefront Two gets some content. It seems. Uh, new DLC, including characters, map, and whatnot. Again, it's the same thing. Those that like the game and already play it will be thrilled. I personally don't care at all about it. Um, also, the reactions of the, the crowd in general were very, very underwhelming for any of the games that were announced, pretty much. Uh, there was Unravel 2, I think, was from on, on that conference during that conference as well, which looks really good. I still have to play the first one, actually. But um, yeah, uh, the second one, I'm not too much of a fan of the whole co-op segment thing. Uh, kind of reminds me of Chariot a bit, <coughs> which isn't my cup of tea either. So, why is this still locked? What the hell? Why would you open this and lock still have the other one locked? Where am I supposed to go now? Oh, there's one more thing. Okay, so there's a lever. Um, what else? Well, the destruction of Common Conqueror was bound to happen eventually. Didn't expect them to pick mobile platform for it. Um, cringeworthy as fuck was the whole Madden thing with whoever the hell uh, the dude was that went on stage. Also 
generally a very poor preservation for all the, all the sports games. Why is this taking me? Okay. Um, usually the segment tends to be longer and they go a bit more in depth with all the changes, but it's the same basically. It's updated roster, um, changes to the physics. Well, yeah, you know how, how it goes. <clears throat> it's sports title, so uh, every year there are new ones, more of the same, and, well. Again, it, it has its fan base, who will surely be excited about it. What else was there? Not sure what that does, we'll try that out. Seems like a lot of potion. Um, anything else that I'm forgetting? Oh yeah, the only actual game, well, besides potentially Battlefield, which I don't mind. Um, is what? see see something sea of solitude yeah that was it which looks really fucking grim and I like it from what I've seen might be very interesting crap no I forgot where to go oh more enemies That's still closed. That is closed. That's closed as well. Anything open over here? No. Supposedly I can drag something on that. <clears throat> Let's see. Nope. That's also no. That takes me back to... Wait. Oh, I can't go through that. I didn't realize. Yeah, that was pretty much EA, I think. It was the least exciting for me, anyway. Then, what was after that? Microsoft, right? That's... Yeah, I think it was Microsoft. Microsoft fucking nailed it, though. <clears throat> was by far the best conference they've ever had, in my opinion. Um, basically just talk about games, which is what matters really in that type of conference. That's what it's for. Um, lots of games that, well, funnily enough, most exciting games aren't actually from Microsoft. They just went all out with the, uh, well, Premiere, this and that, and... Uh, console exclusive and some other suffix to that or something which leads me to believe that it, it'll come out on Xbox first just to then eventually come out on other platforms as well which is fine by me pure exclusive of fucking retarded anyway Did I activate that already? I don't even know. Nope, I didn't. Okay. So, they had like the whole real exclusive thing, Forza, which I don't care about. Um, what was there? There was something else. Halo. And Gears of War. Which actually looks really good, but not a system I own or care to own, so I'll have to pass on that. Regardless, uh, there were a lot of other games that were announced there, like Sekiro, 
which I'm down for. Um, it was Fallout 76, which could be interesting. Still worry about the whole multiplayer um, being a thing in that game. Although I think it's a good thing that at least it's not um, overcrowded. Or well, at least not supposed to be. Holy crap. What's all this? What else was there? Right, Fallout 76 might be interesting. I really like the Fallout games, all of them. Um, played 1 and 2 on PC back in the day, which are fucking amazing. Um, 3 is fantastic as well. Fallout New Vegas was great. And I also thought 4 was great. Could have done without the whole... Um, Settlement building nonsense, really. Um, but hey, I guess they needed to put something new in there. Then there was like Captain Spirit, which also, well, it's something, well, not really different as there's been a ton of games like that lately. But, well, it's kind of a new IP ish thing, even though it's. Uh, it's supposed to be linked to the Life Strange universe. But, yeah, I mean, more of a chill game, really. What else was there? There was, um. We Happy Few. Which has been announced so many times by now. Uh, cool that they're actually making some changes to the game. As the state it's currently in, I have absolutely no interest in it. But I want to see where it goes when it's done. Then there was uh, more Battlefield 5, which again showed absolutely nothing. Uh, Tales of Asperia re release sort of thing, which is great. I mean, um, it used to be an Xbox exclusive, I think. Although, well, not quite exclusive since uh, it came out on PS3, but only in Japan. So I guess Xbox had, like, the Western exclusive rights or whatever. What the hell? And I mean, it's supposed to be the best Tales game. I haven't played any of them extensively. The most I've played was probably Berseria, which I think is the most recent one that I've played for like 20 hours, maybe. Still haven't finished it. Need to go back to that as well eventually. Um, then there was uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which again. Those who like the previous games will like this one as well. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, looks good. We'll probably play similarly. And, well, it's kind of more of the same, but if it works, then why not? Right? Same goes for Division 2. Pretty much looks like Division 1. Uh, seems to play like Division 1, with a few new tweaks, maybe. Which, which is also fine. I mean, why not? Uh, comparatively, I mean, Division, the first one, had a rocky launch. And, well, didn't look as great. 
it doesn't seem to be as great, let's say, like that, until they've actually put some more content in and changed some things around and stuff. So that's um, that's a good thing. So maybe this the second one will be good from the start. Then we had what else? Black Desert Online. Don't think I've ever heard of it. I believe though it's an MMORPG, which uh, I don't know about really. And I have no idea where to go now. All oh, right, this game doesn't have a map. Can I go through here? No. Well, there are like so many areas that are kind of locked off that should be available at some point. Oh, these are on the timer, it seems. Alright. Um, yeah. Black Desert Online. That's a thing, apparently. Might be interesting, might be good. I'll only really know once it releases. And then how stable it actually runs on consoles. As far as I know, it's supposed to come to consoles, so... I just hope it doesn't run like Terra. Because... That was not very good. On the performance department. So... I'm just aimlessly running around at this point. So I'm not sure where to go. I'm hoping some more doors open up. Maybe that one on the left. Then there was Tunic. Shit, this is still locked. And that's a collectible I want. Hmm. Oh my god. Just stop spawning, please. Or increase the timer. Um, what was that again? Tunic, tunic. Oh, right. I think that was the... Sort of Zelda homage game with the fox. Which, I mean, looks cool. I wouldn't mind playing that. Although, well... I'm not sure if that's also going to be an Xbox exclusive or not. If it is, then, well, I'll pass. Uh, then there's Jump Force, which I don't remember at all what that, what that was about. Oh, wait, I do. Hang on. That's the... Um, fighting game. The, with Naruto, um, One Piece, Dragon Ball, and maybe something else as well in the mix. Can't remember. Um, not sure what that's about. Uh, what that's about, to be honest. I doubt it's going to be another tag battle game. So maybe more of a brawler kind of thing. I'm just searching for the lever to actually open that thing over there. Hmm. So yeah, get, ex get us the actual gameplay for that to, to get a proper idea about the game. Then Devil May Cry 5. Oh yeah. Can't wait for that. I liked 4. I liked all of them, basically. I liked the reboot thing, the MC pseudo should have been 5 but wasn't um, yeah, it was fine it was fun, so m what more do you want if you don't try to innovate something it'll, it'll just remain stagnant so uh, I mean if it was actually a bad game, fair enough but it wasn't
So, then there was... Dying Light 2. Which also... Good on them. I mean, first one's great. Uh, so were the Dead Island games. Although, Dead Island 2 is never gonna come out. At this rate. Which really, really sucks. Then again, all we've really seen was, like, the trailer, which was fucking amazing. Um, and now, well, nobody knows uh, in what, what state it's in. Fucking hell, where's the lever to open that bloody door? I already killed all the enemies in every single area. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, then there was announcement of Just Cause 4, which, I mean, it's the same thing with Division and uh, Tomb Raider or whatever. It's gonna be more of the same. It's still gonna be fun. It's one of those games you pick up, play a bit, then you drop it and eventually you pick it up again, play a bit. I mean, that's how it really goes. And that's perfectly fine with me. Um... God damn it. That really bums me out. That's where the starting area was, right? Yeah. What else was there? Um... Battletoads, yeah, that's a thing, apparently. Okay, I think I found the activator. Yes, finally. Jesus Christ, so much pointless running around. Should have realized that earlier. So yeah, Battletoads. That's interesting, and definitely a surprise, I mean. Curious to see how that one's gonna turn out. Um, and then, of course, the new CD Projekt Red game. Cyberpunk 2077, which again, it's, I mean, it's CD Projekt Red, so. You already expect it to be good, same with games from Platinum. There's already that standard there, that expectation. And I'm sure it'll turn out to be a great game. Even though it still seems to be a bit far off to actually being released. Alright, that opened up. Something open over here. No, it, there's not. Now it is. Fine. And that was Microsoft pretty much. I'm probably missing some of the games, but those were the most noticeable for me anyway. Um, okay. So then we had the... Which one was it? Devolver Digital, I think. Yeah. I think it was Devolver. Which, to be honest... I didn't care much about. Um, I mean, Metal Wolf Chaos? Sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, uh, I'm waiting to see how that one 
we'll try that as well. I mean, it's another fairly old game, I'd say. Might be mistaken about it, but I only know it from speedruns, really. So, how does that thing open? Yeah, that was pretty much it. I, I don't remember. I think there were like two or three more games from Devolver Digital, which eh, didn't really interest me at all. And just like an hour ago or so, a bit less maybe, Square Enix. Oh boy. Um, Yeah, that was a bit lackluster. It was like trailer after trailer. Which, yeah, cool, it's games and all, but, I mean, give us some more information, maybe? Just maybe? Oh, wait, no, hang on. Not Square Enix, Bethesda came off that. What well, came before uh, Square Enix? Yeah, Bethesda. Well, everything looks great from Bethesda, so. It was more Fallout 76. Um, oh, right, this thing. Forgot about that. Uh... Rage 2, which I think is great. I mean, I would never have expected a sequel to it, but I thought the first one was fun. So, I'm I'm good with more of it. I don't even know anymore what I'm picking up. That healed me, maybe. Um, Doom Eternal, so yeah, sure, or Doom, always good, especially if it's not multiplayer related. Um, I was hoping for an actually single player you know, focused Quake game. Uh, Quake Champions, yeah, yeah, well. Then there was a uh, standalone for Wolfenstein, which was Youngblood, right? Which I mean, it's cool. Wolfenstein games are fucking great, really good shooters. But I mean, it's Bethesda, so uh, that's the wrong way. I mean, I can only r remember one single game from Bethesda that wasn't all that. And that was Rogue Warrior. But then again, I've played worse than that. So... Um, then there was... Elder Scrolls 6, of course, yeah. New Elder Scrolls game. Which... Was to be expected, really. Um... Also something Elder Scrolls-y on mobile, I think. I have no interest in mobile games at all, so I don't really pay attention when it comes to that. Um, where is the other dude? There you are. Come here. Well, let's see. Um... It's in the same area. Was it talking with a parrot? No. Oh, with, with this one. Right. Just in case it's gonna give me an item. Oh, you don't. Right. So, how's this? Oh, that's expensive. Sure. I think I'll just buy this.
Okay, how do you... Skills. Use skill... Square. Alright. immunity, all right. Do these do? Crystal can be found. You're poisoned. Okay. So I'll be trying that out. Oh, hi. Um. Yes. Why? What? I don't understand. Okay, that's area 2, that's area 1. Let's go there first. Actually, potentially, these enemies might be in area 2 as well. Bethesda, what else? There was another new new IP actually announced, which I have no idea what what it's gonna be. Which was Starfield. Maybe a proper No Man's Sky? I don't know. I just don't know. Hopefully it turns out better. Than that fucking game. Um, that was it for Bethesda, so. From what I remember, anyway. Okay, now Square Enix. Uh, new content for Final Fantasy XIV. Which, I mean, it's, it's cool that it keeps constantly getting updated. Especially, well, since you have to pay a monthly fee. So, I'd be expecting updates on a regular basis. But, yeah, cool. Um, I don't play it. But, yeah, I mean, it's great for those who, that do. Um, then there's... What else was there? More Kingdom Hearts 3, which, well, didn't really show more than it did last year. <laughs> I mean... Disappointing, really. No new news for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I mean... <laughs> okay, I guess. Sure. Let's not keep people interested in that game. Uh, that one's almost like the Shenmue game. Oh, crap. Actually skipping or forgetting. Some of the stuff, no? Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, it's basically like Shenmue 3. It's a thing that's kind of happening, maybe sometime in the near future or a far distant future 
and that's how Final Fantasy VII, uh, VII Remake, yeah, feels like at this point. Then again, well, we'll see. I mean, there's no rush to bring all these games out. They'll come out when they're out. Simple as that. Then there was a new Dragon Quest game. Um, 11? If I saw that right. I mean, cool. Those games are fun. None of these unlock. There's probably a lever somewhere. Gotta go that way. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Um, Babylon's Fall, like a cooperation with Platinum Games. So expectations are high for that one. And then there was a really weird game. The Quiet Man. Which looked, well, really weird. No clue what to expect from that. Might be good, might be bad, might be short. I don't know. It doesn't look all that appealing. To be, to be honest, I mean, it'll have its audience, but I don't think it'll be a success, really. Again, they showed really very little of it, so also depends on the price points. I mean, Unravel 2 was out basically when they announced it, which is cool, and I think it's like 20 euros, 20 bucks on the store. Which is a a fair price for the, that, that kind of title. Um, oh right, Bethesda. There was also the um, DLC for Prey, I think. Which I have yet to try out. I have no idea what all these items do. It's fucking great. I don't know, to me, I feel that's uh, designed for in this game. So, that was... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, tired. Didn't get all that much sleep. Anyway, um... Yeah, I mean, that was it up to this point. In like roughly an hour, Ubisoft is up, I think. Then there's the PC gaming thing. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. And at fucking 2 a.m., well, where I'm at, at, at anyway. Uh, a Sony conference. Jesus Christ, man. Sony really needs to find a better time slot. Anyone who is in Europe is screwed. I mean, you can always watch the Vought then, but... I mean, it would be nice to see it actually live. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. Well, Ubisoft probably um, announcing uh, more of the new Assassin's Creed game. 
That's what I'm expecting anyway. They'll be showing the division again, division two. Then there'll be the why is that what? Why is that opening? Empty area? What? Oh right, I have a skill I completely forgot. I haven't used that yet. Right, let's pick this up. Something opened. Um, well, there will be more Last of Us 2 and micro Microsoft, Jesus Christ, fuck no, um, Sony's conference, um, what else? Don't actually know. Not sure what to expect regarding new announcements from Sony, if there are any. Which is kind of a bit disappointing. Usually Sony goes all out in these kind of th kinds of events, so... It would be kind of nice to... Um, yeah, get some new games, maybe, announced. But then again, that's what they did last year. New God of War. They had all the Uncharted, which is, is done now, basically. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Um... Crash Bandicoot is done. I mean, Spyro? I'm not sure. Is that even not yet? Gotta, gotta check that. Spyro Trilogy or Remaster or whatever. Let's see. Spyro. Okay, that must still be coming out. Right, so that thing maybe. And I would actually not be surprised if they'd announce it and that'll be that it would be on the store. From that point on. I don't know if the, if if it has an official announced uh, uh, announced no she's uh released it yet. Guess we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. So that's the exit. Right. Anyway, area, area, something with a, of course, another one. Oh, someone disappeared.
Okay. Yeah, I don't really care for her. this. Oh, rhythm points, right? Eh. Maybe increase health points. I don't know. I mean, this game isn't bad, but it isn't good either. Kind of feels a bit like a missed opportunity. It's a bit just too simplistic when it comes to combat and to... I mean, you can't... well, as a warrior, you can't block. I, I'm not sure how the other classes work, but... Um, But yeah, I mean, it's it's an alright game. It's not as bad as um, the reviews made it out to be. Just feels like, I mean, the art style is nice. At least in these hallways in this building, it looks really nice. Um, the actual world is like okay something poisonous oh, okay so that must be the boss in the area then um, okay, let's head to area two. Oh, hang on. What the hell? Why is that a new area? Okay, let's go for the scorpions. Um, yeah, I mean... There's no real dodging, there's no real blocking, so it seems anyway. I might be wrong. Um, the attacks are too basic. Oh crap, what did they put me here? Oh my god. I forgot I need to unlock all them doors again. Great. Um... Oh, hang on. I mean, there are some skills, which is nice. Um, the game itself doesn't seem to be too difficult. Something opened. I mean, it, this really needs a map. It really, really would need a map that you could actually zoom. Oh, shit. It's so locked. Probably heading the wrong way, aren't I?
but then there's no tooltips unless you're in the store um, on what the items actually do that you pick up so unless, unless you memorize it which I can't be bothered to do really um, yeah it's basically flip a coin and hope it's something that you need at that moment in time. I don't know. Right, gimme gimme. All the money. Let's get the hell out of here. I must be going the wrong way. Yeah, this should be the right way, right? No, hang on. I came from here. Holy shit, where the hell is the exit? Oh. Hi, Scorpions. I was kind of looking for you a lot. God, I'm so lost. should be. Hang on. There's some enemies here. Hey, that's a scorpion as well. Why didn't that one count? I don't understand. Oh, right. Well, don't really intend to go back there. I kind of want to find the exit. That's about it. Quest done, which is great. Now, where is that teleporter? I don't think it was here. Well, I ended up here anyway. Okay. Also not a fan of the random spawn points. Like instead of starting me every time the same spot puts me all over the place. Not a fan. So... Might as well get the experience, I guess. God damn it, why there is there no map? Maybe it's this way. Where's the exit, man? Oh, it's through here, I think. No, that can't be right. Yeah, that's this area again. Fuck me. I'm so fucking lost. Yeah, it's not here. It's 
So this is where I started, I think. So yay for that. through here. No, actually, there's nothing there. Oh, I'm level 11 already. Nice. I think I started at 8. Almost level 12. Maybe it was through here. I've been here before, haven't I? Oh man. Where is the exit? No, it's not this way. I'm almost dead, that's what I am. Might as well just kill myself just to get the hell out of here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Use this bridge. And hope it'll get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god. There we go. Come here. What's this? Already level 12. I don't even care. Let's get out. Of course, more quests. Retrieve some poison. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. Um, for tomorrow, yeah. Uh, I can't be bothered going through that section again. So, anyway. This is going to be a short one anyway, to begin with. It doesn't take too long for the Ubisoft conference to start either. So, I should see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.